Now we'll move on to the topic two that's about managing an industrial disputes or a conflicts. How, are, how as an employer or as a company they are going to manage these disputes and uh, maintain you know harmony and uh, maintain a cordial kind of a relationship with the employees. So if you look at it actually you know there are preventive measures are available uh, you know from the uh, to avoid or probably manage the industrial disputes. Very common kind of a method is as per the Industrial Labor Act. 1926 they say that any organization which has got more than 500 employees there should be one labor officer has to be you know placed so by actually employing a labor officer that labor officer act as a kind of a mediator between an employer and an employee uh, you know uh, trade unions so through that you know uh, labor welfare officer we can try to you know probably bring about best kind of a results and the second kind of uh, kind of you know measures could be Tribunate and uh, you know uh, what you call it is you can come out with and kind of an association bodies through that you try to you know probably settle all the industrial conflict and uh, through a collective bargaining or any other kind of a thing and the third kind of a thing is where you can uh, you know come out with the steering committee or a steering order where uh, you try to form a separate third party kind of a steering committee with the help of an you know tribunate or any other thing so through that you know you try to drive the entire thing and then try to you know probably implement many wherever uh, that the demand is and the fourth one is grievance procedure employers themselves can work out and very transparent kind of a grievance procedure where escalation can be done on various other related friends so through that you know you can able to uh, maintain or measure the industrial disputes and other than that you know you can go and for an joint kind of you know contribution or a commitment and uh, labor uh, you know partnerships and profit sharing and you can also go about you know strong kind of a trade unions and other than that you know collective bargaining so these are the kind of measures uh, you know organization can take to maintain uh, better kind of an industrial disputes other than that if you look into it uh, dispute settlement can happen through arbitrations uh, by you know openly fighting it out and uh, by talking about it you know you can able to solve it other one is coinsulation coinsulation is nothing but you try to form and you know third party thing and through that you know you try to arrive at an agreement and through that you can do that and the other one is educations and uh, you know there is a proper kind of an agreement you try to come out with and there's a cumulative kind of you know consultancy machinery and uh, you know through the consultancy consultative uh, method you can do that and other than that you can come out of the grievance procedure it's an open and transparent kind of a procedure and other than that code of discipline you can maintain a code of discipline through that you can do that and other than that collective bargaining so these are the kind of way disputes uh, you know can be settled now let's come to the arbitration part of it arbitration is nothing but a procedure in which you know uh, neutral kind of a third party involves in the bargaining uh, you know uh, table and they listen to both the parties gather information as much as possible from all the parties and make recommendation as to what kind of a way we can come out of the solution so it's like a court and arbitrations effective means of resolving diffu uh, you know disputes because it is actually you know established by the parties themselves and the decision is acceptable to them so that's the way actually you know arbitration is a third party this has been formed by both the parties and um, it's relatively very very expeditious uh, when compared to you know the court and other tribunals because court and tribunals it takes its own sweet time whereas on arbitrations we can you know form it very very exclusively sometimes you know outside the court uh, the arbitrations you know can happen so these are the ways actually civil cases and uh, many industrial related cases have been taken into consideration so now let's look at the process of arbitration so how exactly arbitration happens the labor union generally takes initiative to go for an arbitration when the union decides it notifies the management as to you know they are going ahead with an arbitrations and uh, the union and the management select the potential arbitrator by carefully studying the previous decisions given by the particular arbitrator uh, to detect any kind of a bias so that you know they will select the right kind of a you know arbitrator after the arbitrator is selected the time and place of hearing will be determined then the issue to be you know resolved will be presented to the arbitrator in a document uh, that gives a complete summary of about what are the kind of questions and uh, you know what is the way what is the kind of a nature of a conflict and other thing will be presented and uh, what are the kind of questions to be asked from the employee to employer also will be decided and the contract or restrictions that prohibited the arbitrate uh, from making an award had uh, you know uh, would change the terms of existing contract uh, in a sense like you know contract restrictions that prohibited the arbitrator from making an award 
uh only thing you know they cannot be able to legally come out with that kind of a blanket uh, thing but uh, it's a kind of an you know agreement and each side represents its case of a hearing and each party has to submit a formal written statement about what they want so these are the ways actually you know entire the arbitration and other things uh, industrial disputes have been managed